Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 8 amazing upcoming 2024 middleweight adventure bikes first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Towards New Horizons, TRK702X is one versatile, agile and easy-to-handle adventure, designed to tackle any type of route, both on asphalt and off-road and built to be able to embark on new and exciting adventures. Passion, freedom and fun in a single motorcycle, whatever road you decide to take and without setting limits to your desire to travel. TRK702X is in fact a mature motorcycle, ideal for those who want a solid, authentic and easy-to-use two-wheeler. A motorcycle capable of guaranteeing optimal performance without ever putting the rider in difficulty at the same time, developed by the Randy Department and the Benelli Style Center to expand the range of the Casa del Leoncino's adventure bikes, entering the medium-engined range. The design of the Benelli TRK702X stems from the need to evolve the concepts introduced with the new TRK range, consolidating and making the most characteristic stylistic elements recognizable, transforming them into stylistic features proper to the family. Elements such as the headlight with double LED module set in the iconic structure of the goggle or like the design of the tank, made of metal in the area in contact with the rider's legs, to have the minimum size and allow maximum freedom of movement, without penalizing the capacity of the tank, of no less than 20 liters. Another distinctive trait of the new Benelli TRK702X, shared with the other newcomers in the range, are the rear handles generous but perfectly integrated into the profile of the vehicle, long-limbed, to offer maximum comfort also to the passenger and at the same time giving a very important stylistic element, going to define the rear end of the bike. twenty twenty four ktm eight ninety smt over the last few months a number of ktm test bikes have been spotted and now the eight hundred and ninety smt mule has also made an appearance in spain here's what we know about it on the design front the eight hundred and ninety smt takes inspiration from multiple models for example the led headlight topped by the transparent windscreen is similar to the adventure range from the austrian brand Meanwhile, the tail section looks rather sleek like one of KTM's Street Fighters. It's likely to be powered by an 899 cubic centimeters parallel twin motor with the output rated at 103 brake horsepower. However, the numbers can go higher since the 890 Duke dishes out more power from the same motor. Another area where the SMT separates itself from the ADV is the use of a conventional fuel tank instead of the two units that the off-road sibling uses. The SMT test bike is equipped with an upswept exhaust which should translate to better clearance but it's also riding on long travel suspension with road bias tires and wheels. The setup is somewhat mimicking the company's Supermoto bloodline. Along with LED illumination, we expect KTM to give it ride modes, traction control, smartphone connectivity, ABS levels, and more. As of now, the bike seems to be in its early stages of testing and development. But once launched, it could rival the BMW F900XR and the likes. The combination of the wide bars, tall suspension, and spacious riding position of an adventure bike with the grip and handling offered by asphalt-focused suspension and tires has always been an appealing one. On the outside, it gets a colorway reminiscent of Cervantes' competition bike from 2022. Dominant colors are matte phantom black, matte graphite, and crystal white. It also features accents in racing yellow, along with Triumph Tiger and Aragon Edition decals. A two-tone seat design is also a new feature on this machine. 
In addition to the graphics, the Rally Aragon Edition also gets special show of forks the Triumph says, are, tuned for even greater off-road performance, although it doesn't give specific details on that tuning. It also gets fuel tank protection bars, while both the Rally Aragon Edition and the GT Aragon Edition also get engine protection bars, as well. The GT Aragon Edition features a Diablo Red, Matte Phantom Black, and Crystal White colorway, along with the Triumph Tiger and Aragon Edition graphics also found on the Rally Edition. The GT Edition also gets fully adjustable 1.8-inch upside-down Marzaki cartridge forks with an electronically adjustable rear suspension unit. Pricing and Availability Pricing and availability will vary by geographic region. In the US, the 2024 Triumph Tiger 900 Rally Aragon Edition will be available toward the end of July at an MSRP of $16,995. Meanwhile, the 2024 Triumph Tiger 900 GT Aragon Edition will also be available toward the end of July at an MSRP of $16,495. In Canada, both bikes will also begin rolling into dealerships toward the end of July. The Tiger 900 Rally Aragon Edition will start at $19,795 Canadian dollars, while the Tiger 900 GT Aragon Edition will start at $18,895 Canadian dollars. The 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Gray in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New interface, the T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog-style design. Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED turn signals, the 2024 Tenere 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter, the T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter, which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. The Quickshifter allows for smoother and quicker gear shifts without the need for clutch usage. Expanded ABS modes, Yamaha has improved the ABS mode offerings for the 2024 T7. The 2024 Ducati Multistrada V2 takes on a dark attire to look better than the Multistrada V4. If you're in the market for a capable adventure tourer from Europe, there's a high chance you'll consider the Ducati Multistrada V2. It serves as the entry ticket into the much popular Multistrada moniker, with an assortment of top-shelf components, electronics, and a thumpy Desmo mill. For 2024, all this has become even more delectable, as the Italian giant has now an update for its middleweight ADV. Though a minor one, it makes the V2 ever so pretty, dare we say, even more than the flagship Multistrada V4. Ducati has introduced a new thrilling black livery for the 2024 Multistrada V2. It wraps the bodywork in gloss black and dark gray finishes, accentuated by red insets on the side panels and inside the Multi's front beak. This, in addition to the Ducati red alloy wheels, makes the ADV quite sporty and reminds us of the Multistrada 1260 Grand Tour. 
Not to mention, it plays the perfect sibling to the new Batman-inspired Ducati Panigale V2. Anyway, in case you're not a fan of this, you'd be happy to know the 2024 V2 carries forward the Ducati red livery. It's a lot simpler, but hey, simple is the sexiest sometimes. What else is new, you ask? Well, nothing. The smallest Multistrada is still powered by Ducati's 937 cubic centimeters Testistrada L-Twin engine, also found on the Desert X and Monster. It churns out 113 horsepower at 9,000 rpm and 71 pound-feet at 7,750 rpm, all sent to the wheel via a quickshifter-equipped six-speed transmission. The V2 also comes loaded to the teeth with electronics. Ride modes, power modes, traction control, and cornering ABS all watch your back, while cruise control, hill hold, and cornering lights make adventure ANG easier. Honda CB500X 2024 will be launched in 2023, popular adventure motorcycles like the Honda CB500X provide the ideal balance of power, adaptability, and affordability, the CB500X is anticipated to receive a number of interesting tweaks and enhancements in the 2024 model, which will increase its appeal to riders searching for an accessible and capable adventure bike. Design it is projected that the 2024 Honda CB500X would have a tough and aggressive design that emphasizes its off-road skills, it probably has a high-mounted exhaust for better wind protection, a strong chassis with long travel suspension to handle diverse terrains, and a tall windscreen for better wind protection. Aesthetic improvements to the bike might also be made, such new bodywork and graphics. Engine and Performance the CB500X 2024 is anticipated to have a powertrain that is just as dependable and effective as it's before, a 471 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine with liquid cooling, fuel injection, and exceptional fuel economy is likely to be included. To enhance low-end torque and mid-range power delivery, the engine may receive modest upgrades. Whether on roads or off-road paths, riders can anticipate a balanced and pleasurable ride. Technology and Features Honda is likely to equip the CB500X 2024 with modern technology and features to enhance convenience and safety, expected features may include LED lighting for improved visibility, a digital instrument cluster with essential information, adjustable windscreen, selectable riding modes, and possibly an updated electronics package with traction control and ABS. The 2024 MV Augusta lineup includes the Turismo Veloce Luso SCS and RCSCS models which share many similarities. Both are powered by a 3-cylinder, 4-stroke, 12-valve engine with a total displacement of 798 cubic centimeters cubic inches that churns out 110 horsepower and 59 pound-feet of torque. When it comes to speed, both models are neck and neck and can reach a top speed of 143 miles per hour. Both models comply with the Euro 5 environmental standard, a testament to MV Augusta's commitment to reducing emissions. A commonality amongst multiple bikes in the MV Augusta family is that the frame type is an ALS steel tubular trellis, and the rear swing arm pivot plates are made of an aluminum alloy. The front suspension type is a Sax upside down, semi active hydraulic fork while the rear suspension is a progressive sax, semi-active single shock absorber. Both models are also equipped with an integrated parking brake in the rear hydraulic brake system. One of the standout features of these motorcycles is the smart clutch system, SCS, available on the RCSCS. At only 36 grams, it offers an immediate benefit in terms of ride comfort. You can focus on the road while the system handles the clutch for you. Despite their similarities, there are a few key differences between the Luso SCS and the RCSCS. 
While both models come with heated grips, Bluetooth, cruise control, a GPS sensor, central stand, adjustable windshield, and the MV Ride app, the RCSCS stands out with its unique sporty look, sporting the Italian motorcycle manufacturer's distinctive paint job. The 2023 Turismo Veloce RCSCS comes with a Reparto Course Kit, which includes a sports exhaust and a dedicated control unit, enhancing the sporty characteristics of the bike. The XADV has broken new ground with its unique mix of adventure bike ability and big scooter usefulness and practicality. Its rich specification includes throttle by wire management, for default riding modes and three-level Honda selectable torque control. The 22L seat storage compartment includes a USB-C charger while a glove box adds further convenience. Twin LED headlights feature daytime running lights and a 5-inch TFT display allows smartphone connectivity via the Honda smartphone voice control system. The XADV's unique head-turning styling, conceived and developed by Honda's RAN D team in Italy, evolved for 21YM to become slimmer and sharper, the silhouette deliberately upright, with each body panel honed with strong intent. Dual LED headlights feature daytime running lights DRL, that automatically adjust to ambient light intensity and give a bright, highly visible light improving safety. All lighting is LED. In terms of ergonomics, the 820mm seat height, shaped for easy ground reach, and wide handlebar set at 910mm ensure a high eye point, giving great visibility. For commuting or touring, the XADV screen adjusts without tools through five positions from low to high to maximize or minimize airflow. The total height difference is 139 mm, with an 11 degrees rake between the highest and lowest points. Incorporated into the XADV's rider interface and viewed through the 5-inch TFT display is the Honda Smartphone Voice Control System HSVCs, which links the rider to their smartphone while on the move and allows voice management of phone calls, email, music and navigation. A helmet-mounted headset is needed, and the smartphone connects to the dash via Bluetooth, management of the system is also possible through buttons on the left switchgear.